Hey everyone. So, I've been waiting so long to make this video. And I just haven't had the time and I just I didn't know how I wanted to do it. Um so, and this will be my first time doing a top however many <laughs> numbers it is of so-called year. So, this will be my top 17 of 2017. I really wanted to do one for 2016. I was super pumped for it, but it kept getting later and later in the year and, you know, times got tough, you know, think just life happened. So, um, I didn't make one for last year. So this will be my very first one. And, um, I hope y'all enjoy it and you want to dance and sing and party with me because there will probably be a lot of dancing and singing and I'm so sorry in advance. So let's get started. Um, number 17. Um, also, I'm using my little JBL Flip 4, um, so it'll be over here playing the music for me, and I'll be playing it off my phone. And, um, yeah, I don't know, I might put uh, a picture or something. I feel like maybe putting in a video might be a little too much for me to handle, because I'm not good at editing, as y'all can tell, because I take everything in one shot, and I don't really edit stuff together very well. So, <laughs> yeah, um... We're going to start off with number 17, and it's Super Junior with Black Suit. So... Like, it just hits you right off the bat, you know? So, okay, so Super Junior will always have a piece of my heart. But, um, so yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, Super Junior will have a place in my heart, I have a piece of my heart because they were my very first group I got into, and I haven't been feeling their comebacks for, like, years, it feels like. Um, I can't even remember which comeback I liked, like, from, you know, a, a bunch of them. Sorry, I can't think right now, apparently. Um, but this song, just right off the bat, it just has you dancing. It's like, it shows off their vocals. It's like, it's uplifting, it's fun. So I was really happy with the choice that they got this time. Because we all know that Super Junior has been like on the back burner for things for a while. So yeah, it was nice for them to have a good track finally after like so long um and y'all can hate on me if you want but i'm not i'm not hating on them because like i said they'll always have a place in my heart but um i'm just glad that they're back but i'm also sad that um i didn't get to see kunyan <sighs> my bae he was my ultimate bae but sadly now it is jungkook but uh we'll talk about that later so let's get on to number 16 which is Vix's Shangri-La. You can't really see the artwork very well because this camera is kind of dumb. But, um, yes, Shangri-La. I love the fan dance. Uh, this video is very aesthetically pleasing. It's so good. They all fucking look good. Ken is coming for me and he's not allowed to do that because I already got three vice records of this group. And, uh, And um, the, the live that uh, Marissa and I did a reaction to was so fucking good. Um, it made me appreciate the song even more. Um, but. Oh, this part is just it's so good like it's so satisfying like the draw even though it's kind of like popping in and out a lot and it's like I had to kind of get used to that sound but it was really good so yeah obviously the song was pretty pretty bomb and off their album I did like blackout I believe I think that one was one of my favorites also it was so fucking good um, so that was number 16. <laughs> so number 15 will be Shall We Dance by Vlogby. 
This song. It's just it's just so good. You can't deny it. Yes, you know, Zico always bring in the fire, just right off the bat. Dude, you can't just, you just can't, you can't not dance to the song. I don't remember how they do it, so I'm just doing it my way. Um, yeah, this song is low-key lit. It's such a bop. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember what other ones I liked off the album. I can't remember right now. It might have been a B-bomb solo or something like that. I can't remember. Um, but this was definitely one of my favorites of top... Of <laughs> One of my top favorites of 2017. Wow, y'all. It's gonna... This is gonna be a fucking long video, <laughs> I can tell you right now. Um, but yeah, that song is low-key lit. It sounds like Block B. It's, uh, it's so good. Because um, I've been waiting for so long for like a good hype song. Because there hasn't been a good one since like very good. And like this was like as close as I can get to that. Because I need more like very good. I need more Nalina. That's the Block B I love with all my heart. It's like, I like their slow stuff, but it's just like, I don't listen to slow stuff a lot of the time. Usually it's more dancey. But um, yeah, that's just my opinion on it. And uh, let's get in at what? What are we at? 14? I think. 15, 16, 15, 14. Yeah, so 14 will be Shinwa with Superpower. So, this whole album is really good, um, from what I remember, and <sighs> Shinwa, like, they've been around for so long, they're fucking sexy, this song is so sexy, I know you want it. Like this song just gets you. Like you just you just ready. You ready to get into the bed. Get them clothes off. Um But for real though, this is like a song I would fuck to. Just saying. Um, but uh yeah, I think their their single um for 2017 was It was like touch touch I think I think it's like a self-titled one if I remember correctly um or was it called unchanging I can't remember but um one of those <laughs> I can't remember at the moment I'm so sorry y'all wow um but yeah I feel like that one was it was good but I feel like this one just like shined the most for me off their album so I was like, I, I, Shinwa, sexy Shinwa is, is the best Shinwa in my opinion. So yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's get in at number 13 with Jackson Wang's okay. <laughs> so obviously I love Papillon. I love it so much, but this song is just... It has more feeling to it and you know at first I wasn't sure if I liked this song more or not and so I kind of wrestled with it for a while but it just has so much feeling you can relate like and I love party songs I love hype songs like y'all should know that about me by now but this song it just and the bass is like I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn it up for like the chorus just because I just have to so I'm sorry 
headphone listeners if this is too loud. I told myself that I'll be okay. Also in time and in the bone matters and shout to the red I'm on my own. Like, skirt, skirt, doesn't this song just make you feel good? It makes you feel good about yourself. Like, it's like low key, like sad, but it's also like, you're okay. You're okay. So, you know, and it's like, you know, it's a breakup song, and it's like, you know, I feel like we've all been there. If you've, you know, been in a relationship, been with love, in love with someone, like, breakups are really fucking hard, you know? You gotta learn to love yourself in that time and know your worth, you know? And you gotta feel okay with yourself and move on, you know? And it just takes time, really. Like, nothing else will heal your wounds other than time. And it's a sad answer, but it's the truth. Anyway... <laughs> We're gonna get on to number 12, which is Got Seven Paradise. I fucking love this song. Oh, oops, I should turn it back down for now. Um, but this song is so fucking good. Yeah, my voice isn't back yet, and I'm kind of terrible at singing so I'm sorry <laughs> obviously my boy Jackson had to start off the song and it was fucking bomb Okay, sorry. I have to stop myself because I played too much of this song. <laughs> um, because I'm trying to trying to keep it the same amount of time, but it's hard because it the song the whole fucking song is so good. Um, but yeah, I didn't choose. Uh, what was it? Was it you are? I think. No, no, you are was after. Um, what is it called, y'all? Y'all. I'll remember later, I'm pretty sure. But their title track, like, I liked it, um, but it wasn't my favorite. So my favorite off the album is Paradise, and it's such a summer bop. It's so tropical, oh, and like, just their voices are just, mm, like, it's so, like, it's, like, sexy, but, like, mm, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Y'all will know what I mean. I hope you will. The next one is also a fucking bop. I mean, all of these are bops, honestly, but um, it's another tropical summer bop, and it is Winners Really Really. I just feel like, how can you not grip along to this song? dancing along because I'm just gonna look like a fucking goofball just dancing by myself so I hope y'all are digging these tunes and are liking my selections I can't even remember if we're at number 11 or 10 I'm gonna have to count all these sorry y'all um 
Sorry, I gotta bump it. Okay, so yeah, that was such a good summer bop. A good summer bop. And I'm sorry, I think I might have moved one of my songs around and I can't, I don't know if I did that on accident. I hope I didn't. But, um, sorry. Sometimes when you, you know, you have your phone, your, your thumb on your phone on, on a smartphone and it, like, you know, you swipe it and it moves the song on accident, that might happen. Um, I'm hoping not though. I'm hoping it's in the right order. It should be. <laughs> but, um, okay. So we are coming in at, I think number 10. Number 10 is where we're at. And it is Dumbfounded's Young featuring Doki and Simon D. This song, there are so many good songs by Dumbfounded. It was between this and water for me though for this year and sometimes if I couldn't decide I just looked at my play count on my iTunes and this this motherfucker is it oh my young shit you ain't a young pockets is young you haven't done shit oh fuck a young shit oh yeah you guys you guys want to rap with me Show me respect, don't show me back. That's a code of conduct. I could give a fuck if your bitch ass is older. Your bitch call me your buck. Me be a low cup. No matter the age, born and raised, acting a wrong cup. I'm wearing designer. Ooh, you forever 21. You forever be a bum, never be young. Yeah. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't, <laughs> apparently I don't know the very beginning part, but I knew the rest of that. I hope y'all were rapping with me, even though I'm terrible. Y'all can just tell me how terrible I am in the comments below. <laughs> you ain't young, back the young, you ever done shit? Fuck that young shit. Dude, this song is so, it gets me so fucking hype. Like, I can't, I'm sorry. I'm about to get hype with all these songs though, so I hope y'all are ready. All right, so coming in at number nine, we got Lay's Sheep. Look, I'm the lead ship in China. What can I say, man? See, don't be careful, bro. School and wish and all the brown attack. Don't pretend, you know. That's how a story goes. Wow. Wow. So this whole fucking album is a bop. A bop and a half, y'all. This album, I fucking love it. I love it so much. And um it was really hard choosing a favorite song because my favorite was actually Mask. Like I love Mask, I love Peach, I love Boss, I love Too Much. <sighs> And it was just really, really hard deciding which one I liked the most. But I think I listened to this one more than I listened to Mask, which kind of made me a little sad. Um, but this song, let's get it. I love his little like breakfast move. I don't remember exactly how he does it. He's like, he looks like he's holding a frying pan and he's like shaking the other one and like doing something with his legs, I can't remember. But it's like my favorite dance move. And the part where he like slaps his thighs, so good. Um, so yeah, um, this song, this song, it's like, it's so funny, but it's so fucking good. <laughs> like I didn't take it seriously during my reaction because I was like, I don't, I don't understand. Is it supposed to be like a joke or not? And then someone told me in the comments that I guess his nickname is Sheep. And so he made a song about being a badass sheep. And so, you know, it's like, that's, that's okay. That's great. All right. I'm okay with that. 
So yeah, and he looked fucking good in it with his little curly hair. He was so cute. Um, he's like my, well, he was my XOM bias, so he was like my Chinese bias. Um, but now it's like they're all kind of merged and then he may or may not be leaving now. And I hope he doesn't leave, but I totally understand if he does. Um, because he's obviously doing fucking fine on his own. You know what I mean? Like, he is doing great. But it would be nice to have them all together. Um, so those are my thoughts on that whole situation. And then now at number eight, we have Keith Ape with a chew. Hey. Wait. I need my water. I'm about to bump it so y'all can feel that bass because the bass in this song is amazing. And obviously it's Ski Mask, if y'all didn't know who he's featuring. Like, how are y'all just not, how are y'all just sitting there, sitting so still when this bomb ass song is playing? I don't understand. <laughs> but this song is so fucking good. I'm sorry, I need some water. I'm talking a lot. <laughs> I love this part, it's my favorite part. Ain't never gave a four up. I don't give a four up. No give a why. Oh my God, Jesus, Reese's in pieces, peanut butter color LV. Dude, this song is so fucking good. I could like play it all day long, but <laughs> I played it for like a minute and a half. I'm only supposed to be playing the songs for probably like 30 seconds, but I can't help it. Um, yeah, that song is just, it's fucking fire. Y'all need to go listen to it. Um, I'm sorry if I'm just ruining all your songs with my ugly singing and, you know, I'm kind of, I'm still sick, so my, <laughs> my throat isn't the best, <laughs> so everything's just gonna sound weird anyway. Um, but yeah. The next song, coming in at number seven. It was so hard to choose because it's DPR Live and he came out with so many good songs this year. How was I supposed to decide? Oh my gosh. But this song, it's just, it gets me and it's text me. Got me focused on her lips while you ain't even trying Girl, you don't feel me now I'm trying to get to you You know you want me to Know how you want it, ooh Girl, we started Fast and lonely, black hearty What we do with you You, I ain't playing it's true Baby, let me ask you Dude, this song is just it's such fire It's like, it's chill But you know you want to text too You know you all want to text DPR Cause let's be honest, he is fine And he's an artiste Test me when you free. Test me when you free. When you free, when you free, baby. I'm trying to jump, baby. Some got you not in touch. Got game. Let me on the rocks, baby. Then we can all show me how you on. Yeah. Right, cool. SOS, go test me when you want. We don't want that. SOS, go test me when you want. <laughs> this song, that song is just, it's so good. It's so playful. It's fun to sing along with. Ah, uh, like, I love Martini Blue. And that song, <laughs> it's just so great. And obviously all his videos are just so fucking aesthetically pleasing no matter where he goes whether he's inside outside he's just always looking fucking fine and 
he's just perfect. DPR, if you're watching this, you're perfect, buddy. So that's all I got to say about that. And um, so coming in at number six is, okay, so <laughs> y'all will have to tell me in the comments below if this counts or not. Because it is Chris Wu, and I realized he he's Chinese, but the song is in English. But I feel like he falls under the K-pop umbrella because he used to be an EXO, so it's like I did the same thing with Lei, because that was a Chinese song, and then, you know, Jackson was also a Chinese song, but I feel like they fall under, excuse me, the K-pop umbrella. But y'all can tell me if, if those counted or not, in your opinion, and let me know in the comments below. But, um, excuse me though, I burped like while I was talking. <laughs> and, um, this one is Deserve featuring Travis Scott. This song is so fucking good. Checking for you, don't know what you're missing. Girl, you know that you a freak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shawty, you belong with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get you in your zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we can take it home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl, you know that you a freak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shawty, you belong with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry if I'm butchering this song. It's just so fucking good. You can't not sing along to it. And I, I especially love Travis Scott's part, the next verse that's going to come up, but, you know, I can only play so much. Um, but yeah, that song is just so good. Like, it gets you right in the feels, right at the beginning. The bass is so fucking good. It's, like, sexy. Obviously, y'all should know that I love sexy songs. So, if there's ever a sexy song out there, you want me to react to it, let me know because I'm all about that shit. And speaking of sexy, coming in at number five is the ultimate Bias Bay, the queen of my life, Miss Kim Hyuna with Lip and Hip. So it was hard to decide between this and Bebe, but this Sexy Hyuna just wins every time. She wins over cute Hyuna, which is generally her normal self. <laughs> but I like that she can turn it off and on, because when she hits that stage, she's sexy, she's fierce. But outside, on Instagram, she's just a cute little baby, and I love her so much. Like, how can y'all just not bop to this song? It's so good. Yeah, I know. I'm not. I'm not singing this song very well. <laughs> I just feel like she goes up kind of high, so it's hard. It's it's hard. It's hard to <laughs> to match her voice. I can match her voice when it's lower. Um, but yeah, that song, that video, the fucking comeback stage was so amazing, and. <laughs> I just feel that song with every fiber of my being. 
because you know she's basically saying that you know she's not like a tits and ass girl she's a lips and hips girl and that's okay that's okay you know flaunt with what you got girl she got a cute little booty though and she has a cute little rack so you don't gotta be afraid of nothing girl you could be a tits and ass girl too but you know lips and hips that's like that's just even better because who doesn't like lips or hips you know what i'm saying anyway <laughs> coming in at number four will be tame in with move the song just gets me in the feels every time and you can't not see the music video when this comes on and obviously thirsty was a very 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 close second but this song I don't even know how many times I played it after it came out it just ugh. just the bass his voice the sexy oh I don't know. I don't know what they're doing in the music video. I can't do that. I mean, I could because they were going very slow. But I just I just make up my own my own dance, as you can tell. I haven't been doing any body rolls. I hope I have been because I do body rolls too over in this channel. It's all about the body rolls. But yeah, this song is just body roll central. It's so fucking good. And if y'all don't know that, I just, you've been hashtag blessed. Um, because damn, Taman is a blessing in this world and all worlds. Um, yeah, it's just, he's just all sex all the time. He's just, he was born to do this. He's a very, he is an artist in and out. Um, and I love him so much. He's my shiny bias. Um, Jung Yun was my my bias wrecker, and we all know what happened with Jung Yun. And you know, if he had put out his album in December, <laughs> he would have made this list. So, but he will it'd be definitely in my top eighteen of two thousand eight, which I will do next year. So y'all should look forward to that. Um, and coming in at number three, we have Monster X with Beautiful. Ah, oh, this song. It's hard. So moving, you get it. That's it, moi. Sorry, they starting off right with my boy, my bae, Juhan, and then I am right behind him. I just feel like Hero was my favorite for so long, and then this like almost tops Hero for me, and that's hard to hard to say. <laughs> because I still don't know which one is my favorite of all time. Oh, this song is so good. This song. <laughs> Two figure thumbs up. Um, yeah, that song is just, it's so fucking good. It's fire. It's everything. It's oh, amazing. It's beautiful. And I really, that song deserved awards. I was sad that they didn't win anything. They won an award for Drama Rama, and I feel like this topped Drama Rama for me, in my opinion. And 
man, I just feel like they were slept on for so long. Like, Monster X needs, needs more recognition out there. Oh, I'm just sorry. I just get upset that, like, people don't really know them or react to them that often. And I'm just like, excuse me, Monster X is fucking amazing and you need to listen to him. Anyways, we're going to get on to number two. Which, can you guess? Can you guess which group will be number two or number one? I feel like you should know. But number two is EXO with... The Eve. Like their voices are just showcased in the song. It's so sexy. It's so like classy. The way it like builds and then drops. Giggle booty jaya hair. That song is just pure fucking sex and I was trying to decide what my favorite EXO is, I mean my favorite EXO song or era of all time, and it's like it's hard to choose because I, I loved Growl, I loved Overdose, I loved Monster so fucking much, but then this song comes along and I'm like how can they top it? And they fucking topped it. They topped it with The Eve, and it's my favorite song, and I'm sad it's so fucking short. I usually have to listen to it like five times in a row just to get the full effect and I just I love the way it builds and it's just mmm it's just it's so fucking good and yes Coco Bop was a fucking bop and this whole fucking album every song was fucking lit it's so good it's hard to choose a good one like the favorite one off there but the Eve was just it for me and it was number one it was the first song and it's like what what the first song just fucked me up you know what I mean so this has got to be my second favorite album of the year. Um, and it's just, ugh, I love it. Like, it's just, it's so good. If y'all haven't listened to the full The Power of Music album, you need to. You need to go, go sit down, get a bowl, and just listen to that album. And tell me you don't like that shit. Tell me you don't like that shit. But I'm assuming, since y'all are here, you like that shit, so, yeah. The Eve was just it for me. Coco Bop was such a good summer bop, but it's just, the Eve is just, mm, it's just it for me. And so, on that note, number one, can you guess who number one is? We haven't, I haven't said anything about them yet. Can you believe it? Can you believe I haven't said anything about BTS and they are at number one because they're my bias group and can you guess which song it is it's gonna be a no-brainer but it is mic drop remix the Steve Aoki one not the one with designer in it and so the song is fucking bomb. I'm just gonna like skip ahead a little bit. Because, you know, they never put this one out. And so, you know, I had to get it from YouTube. And this song is just, it's everything. Yeah. I 
I just like switch the clap clap and the bang bang. Only concert. I do it. I do it. No, 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 no. I can do it. Do it. Did you see my back? Did you see my back? It's all the trophies and it's all the What you think about that? What you think about that? Better got my head so sick. Come and follow me, follow me with your signs up. I'm so fine, fine, fine for your times up. Keep on running and running until I catch up. How you dare, how you dare, how you dare Another trophy, my hands carrying Too many that I can't even count them I'm a drop, I'm a drop Bye bye, just another night I'm gonna stop me, I'm not a proper Too busy, no more money in Bye bye, just another night I'm gonna stop me Man, this, this next part is my favorite part <laughs> RM's part is the best fucking part in the whole song and I'm just I'm just dying and it's like I want to play the whole song but I don't want to get in trouble um oh, that song it just it's so fucking lit it gets me pumped up every time and I'm sorry if I was butchering words throughout like this whole entire process I'm very sorry I just I when you put k-pop on it's hard not to sing along even if you don't know what you're saying and it just I don't know it's like a spell it's like some voodoo magic and it's great I want it to last my entire life because I love k-pop so much um but yeah that was my top 17 of 2017 and um I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all made it all the way through with me. I know this has been a long journey and you've been very, you know, anticipated and very patient getting to number one. But y'all should have known if y'all follow me on Instagram or on, um, excuse me, on K-pop or uh, Army's Amino. I will be posting these later on too um, on those apps and then I will be posting that, you know, I put up these reactions like I put up two reactions today and then um, this because it was going to take me probably an hour and it's been like 42 43 minutes and um, yeah I hope y'all enjoyed it I hope y'all had a good time I hope y'all weren't uh, too annoyed by me and you know me dancing chair dancing you know constantly and singing along because I can't help myself I'm a slave to k-pop and um, yeah tell me your uh top 17 of 2017 in the comments below say if you know if you liked this uh video you liked um my choices do y'all like uh, the hype songs like i do because you know most of my songs were hype songs and it was you know it was gradually going and um yeah i hope y'all have a great day great uh valentine's you know if you're single if you're with someone have a great day you know if you don't got someone else to love, love your fucking self, man, because y'all, we need to work on that. We need to work on that as a united group of people with depression and everything. Love your fucking self because I'm working on it and you need to, too. And BTS wants us to love ourselves. Love myself. Love yourself. Right, armies? Fighting. So, yeah, I will see y'all next time. Bye.